Welcome back everyone to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to go through the cartoon collection Trapjaw, the evil and armed for combat. So he comes in the new blister pack and that we, are, we have all seen now with these cartoon collections. But on the back for the card art we've got the as seen as the in the double-edged sword so we've got Mayman there in the back and uh, obviously he's coming out as well by the time this is probably going online for you to watch he's already out actually um, anything else in the background nothing else in the background there but he comes there with this little gadget thing which is the Eternium Rock and then obviously in little all the cross cells twist into powerful battle positions and there he is Mayman there so can't wait to get my hands on this one so especially with the actual head sculpt for him Stratos I don't even know whether I'm gonna get Stratos I mean he doesn't look that much different to the first Origins release, so I'm I'm like that whether to pick that one up or not. But let's crack him out of his plastic prison and give this guy a closer look. So getting him out of the actual box, he comes in the full pink, like a Barbie pink type of colour. Um, it's I think it's kind enough the same ish type of style um, especially obviously with the body top half the torso and the arms I'll bring the other ones in for like a comparison for it as well but it is mainly just the head sculpt for them there the, I mean the eyes my one's got like a bit of an uh, cock eye going on but the jaw is a lot more elongated as well for it. His new waistband doesn't have the skull and crossbones in the middle, so that's a difference. And these like little thigh pads are a lot longer and oval shaped. Articulation wise, he's still got all the usual head bobble, twist and bend out at the arm. The actual, this is the difference with the cartoon collection. This one is actually on a pivot as well. Twist at the waist, flex out at the actual legs back and forth, knee joints, and also the little foot pivot as well. They all pop off. So when you pop, the gun arm off there's just this little clasp that fits over as well that's not moulded on his head will pop off little waistband is separate and I take it his feet may pop off let's have a little look because he does come with his little So it pops off at the boot. So it says it pops off with the boot, but mine is pretty much stuck in there. And I don't want to pull it too hard. But yeah, I suppose, yeah, you can pop off at the boot. It'll probably need a little bit of a soak in warm water. So the accessories. Now he comes only with two little weapon accessories, which is the gun and also the hook. So he doesn't come with the little claw arm accessory. So let's just pop them all back together. So he's got like a little peg and hole. There just slides in. I think it's longer than usual. But I'm pretty made up where this has got the tilting mechanism on there as well. And 
I just slip the gun arm off, comes with a little hook and it has only just got one support and little clasp on this belt to then put the hook arm on and there's a ternium that will rock as like clear translucent type of plastic and it's all like flattened type of little edges going round and you've got a little grip of hand where you can just hold on to it like so before I bring in the other trap jaws just to have a little comparison look he comes with this little comic times end so on the front cover you've got Teela there the cartoon collection Teela and let's have a little look see so in the comic Teela comes in this cloak which would have been a good little accessory if she had to come with that originally You've got the pre ternia with the dinosaurs there. The three-headed dragon and also Teela's horse. I wonder will we get Teela's horse in this cartoon collection one? Who knows? The original trap jaw. So there is a little bit of a height dis difference there. But let's have a little look. Like say on this one he doesn't have that pivot and there's gun arm I think it is the same it probably just looks different because of the colour so lining it up it is the actual length of it is the same it's just a little bit of a different mold there's a lot more little gadgets on the on the um, original origin side of things and like I say his little belt had the skull and crossbones on and then even this arm has got a lot more little molded gadgets in there as well and even with the comic book trap jaw that's basically is it just like a repaint other than the legs from the origins as well plain arm but it's more of that he-man type of gauntlet where the cartoon is just blank so there he is my little review for the cartoon collection trap draw let me know your thoughts drop us those comments in the box are you going to carry on if you're collecting these cartoon collections? Is there only specific ones that you're going to get? Or are you going to commit and go through the whole lot? As I say, let me know your thoughts while you're there. Drop in those comments. Do the usual with the like, subscribe, tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. So check out my other little playlists up in the corners there. So you've got the whole Origins collection and you've got a couple of little extra of collections. But thanks for checking in on this one. And I will see you on the next. Take care.